Hello friends, this video on Crop Production and Management Pack 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. What is irrigation? Describe two methods of irrigation which conserve water. So irrigation is artificial application of water to soil to ensure growth of agricultural crops. So basically, instead of completely depending on rain, so we have introduced a method where we are, I mean, not completely dependent on rain. Even if there is no rain, we can artificially apply water to the soil. Now the question is, how do we apply water to the soil? There are many different ways. So here we will mention two methods. The two methods which help to conserve water, they are basically the modern methods of irrigation which have been introduced now to save water because the traditional methods like manually pouring water, bringing, in, bringing out water from the wells and then scattering it throughout the field that used to involve a lot of water wastage. So to prevent that these modern methods have come up. So one of them is the sprinkler system. So what happens here is we have small we have these rotating nozzles located at periodic intervals and then water comes out of this like this. Now these nozzles are rotating so the water gets spread over a particular radius here about against each nozzle and that's how the entire field get watered so that is one system the other system is the drip system where water falls drop wise near the roots of each plant so here also you see from the well there comes a main pipeline the main pipeline is connected to the sub main pipeline and from there these perpendicular pipelines are located so the water will be coming out in drops and that is how this prevents any sort of water wastage. So these are the two systems which are quite prevalent these days and they also conserve water. Question number seven. If wheat is sown in the carob season, what would happen? Discuss. So wheat is what kind of a crop? It is a rabi crop. So it needs less water. But in carob season, it is the rainy season. So that times there is a lot of rain, so a lot of water. So what will happen? However, need, wheat needs moderate temperature and irrigation for good growth. So it doesn't need too much of water. But in Kharif season, rains would lead to water logging, which would adversely affect the wheat productivity. So wheat doesn't want uh, water logging. So if there is water logging, then the wheat plant's productivity will reduce. So if wheat is sown in Kharif season, then the productivity will drastically reduce. Question number eight. Explain how soil gets affected by continuous plantation of crops in a field. Now what happens if you continuously cultivate crops in a particular field? In the same field you are continuously planting crops. So what will happen? Every time the crops will take in the minerals and the nutrients from the soil. Now there is no gap which is getting, which the soil is getting. So the soil is continuously by being used up for uh, nutrients by the plants. So as a result over a period of time the soil will have lack of nutrients because most of the nutrients will get used up by the plants so there will be nutrients depletion in the soil lack of nutrients in the soil so that is one thing the second thing is when there will be no nutrients in the soil then the soil fertility will also reduce so these are the two major impacts that the soil quality will decrease that is the soil fertility will decrease and there will be lack of nutrients in the soil so these will be the two major impacts if we continuously cultivate crops in a particular field Question number nine. What are weeds and how can we control them? Weeds are the unwanted plants that compete for nutrient space, water and light and therefore they adversely affect the crop growth. So they just grow on their own but once they start growing they also need the same basic things which our desired crop needs. For example, in this wheat field, the weeds also need nutrients, space, water, light, and our wheat crops also need the same things. So they both have competition with each other and as a result, the weeds grow at the cost of the nutrients which could have gone to our wheat crops. So how do we control them? By application of weedicides, which are chemicals that kill weeds alone and they do not damage the crops. So that's how we can control them. Question number 10. Arrange the following boxes in proper order to make a flow chart of sugarcane crop production. So, but we don't see anything in the boxes. No, we do have stuffs. 
So these are there in the boxes. Now we have to arrange them in particular order that which is going to happen at the first, then what is going to happen. So that means we will have to arrange it in a particular sequence. So the first thing that has to happen for sugarcane crop production is first of all we have to prepare the soil. So this is going to be the first step. Soil preparation. Once the soil is prepared, then what do we do? Now, in the preparation of the soil, what are the activities that take place? Plowing has to take place. We plow the wheat. So now, once plowing is done, then what do we do? So, we prepare the soil, we plow the field, and then what do we do? We provide manures to the field. So, once that is done, then what do we do? We sow the seeds, that is, we scatter the seeds. So, once, once the seeds are also scattered, then what do we do? Then we have to provide water. So we have to irrigate the field. So once irrigation is also done, then comes the harvesting because now your crops will gradually mature over a period of time. So you cut the crops. So once cut, crops are cut, then they are then the grains are separated from the uh, the straw that is uh, threshing is done, and after that the crop is sent to the sugar factory. So this is how the entire process takes place. Now sometimes plowing is followed by sowing which in turn is followed by manuring. But most of the times manuring is done before so that the soil first is prepared completely by providing manures, fertilizers etc. So let us look at question number 11. Give one word for the following. Providing water to the crops. So artificially how do we water to the crops? What is that process called? Yes, that is called irrigation. So the advantage of this process is that we do not have to depend completely on rain, rain for agriculture. Keeping crop grains for a long time under proper conditions. So that is what we call as storage. So that we can keep it well protected from insects or microbes so that it can be used later. Certain plants of the same kind grown on a large scale, that is crop. A machine used for cutting the matured crop. So the cutting of matured crop is called harvesting and this type of machine is called harvester. A rabi crop that is also one of the pulses. So some of the examples of rabi crops are wheat, gram etc. So you can say gram is an example of a rabi crop which is also a pulse. A process of separating the grain from shaft. So the process of separating grain from chaff is actually called threshing. This process is actually called threshing. So one such process could be winnowing. So winnowing is an example of a threshing process where the grain gets separated from the chaff. So these are uh, the one words for each of the description. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this the very first lesson of science on crop production and uh, management would have helped you. Uh, so please go through it over and again and then see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.